Okay, what is going on, guys? Um, I still haven't recovered after last night. We found ourselves another football game. No, it's not just a wall, but we are actually having a match. Cliftonville versus Ards at Solitude in Belfast. Welcome. It's the first weekend of Northern Irish football. Cliftonville versus Ards. If you guys don't remember, I saw Ards play last year. If you haven't seen the vlog, it'll be up there once more. Um, this is my first time in Belfast. What? My first time watching Cliftonville. They're meant to be one of the best supporter teams in Belfast. And I'm expecting a decent atmosphere. Hopefully, I get what I want and get a decent atmosphere. A decent game as well. I need something to, you know, perk me up after yesterday. We are underway. Cliftonville playing it in red and Ards playing it in white. That's the second time the ball's gonna have already this game. Less, there's 38 seconds gone. Absolute madness. It's actually not artificial turf. If you have been to Woodland's off ground, it's basically the same as that. The artificial turf. Oh, go on! Oh, Jesus. Still there. Oh, cleared. Nothing to get. I think of Ards as good luck time. Ards take the lead 1 0. Sloppy goal to give away. They literally had all the pressure. And they get one decision going their way, kick down the field, and go right, right through long legs, the goalkeeper for Cliftonville. And it's 1 0 Ards, four and a half minutes gone. Genie, Mac. And they're like, they're literally the surge of every team. Ards led 1 0 last time I saw them play. They're leading 1 0 again here at Solitude against Cliftonville. Oh, we could be in for a cracker. Oh, it's only went two now, look. It was a, just two for the pitch once more. A breakaway. Ards nearly in, but a great block. Corner to Ards. Oh my God, Ards, 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 Ards. It's really weird saying that so much, but Ards have a corner now. Just about got back. That's on keeper. Oh. <laughs> Well done! Well done! Oh, I've been giving so much a lot of space on the ball here. Oh jeez, it gets torn. Terrible cross. Oh, it's the post! Jesus! Oh my word! Defending has not been Clifton the best at whatsoever. Well, I don't know what the best is. This certainly can't be it. Why somebody smashed off the post? They get away with one there. Hard's clear once more. Another throw in, there's been countless, <laughs> countless throw ins. Can't remind me of that Newcastle last Villa game. Lots and lots of throw ins. <laughs> Music back on. Clifton Villa have equalised. There's only 22 minutes gone. I thought it was so much longer gone. Clifton Villa get what they deserve. They're lucky they're not 2 1. It's not 2 1. It's 1 0. Clifton Villa level. Yes, you have a game on our hands. It's already 1-0, it was predicted 1-0. I don't think it's going to happen now. Donnelly scores for Cliftonville. It's 1-1. One, one. For Cliftonville, yes, come on! Yes! <laughs> 2 one to Cliftonville. Half an hour gone. Oh. Oh, it's been a harsh look at ours. But Cliftonville deserve the game. They've been on top from the first moment. Cliftonville 2 1 up, they finally break in it once more. Another goal that, you know, was a tap in. Our goal was. Wait, go for him, he scores. He kicked the most best player of the whole game. The odds goal to hoop a lot and knock through the keeper. So it was another goal that he kind of tapped in. It's 2 1 to Cliftonville. Another goal! Unbelievable! 2 1 to succession! It's 3 1 to Cliftonville! 4 goals in 31 minutes! Wow, this has been a bright my mood up after last night. Brilliant strike. Three more Cliftonville. The game should be over now. You never know though. 
and anything can happen. Three walks left to build, 32 minutes gone. Wow, great time to hear a song with you. It's much better than the last game I was at last season in the Northern Irish League. It's 3 1. Ball in on the edge of the area. Ball cross in, cleared, smashed. Oh no, no! Oh, it's another goal. 3 2, they pulled one back right before half time. 3 2, we've had five goals in this first half. My god. Oh, we're in for some bad second half. Clitterville need to sharpen off again. Ah, oh, damn it. 3 2. Bell. 48 minutes gone. We're going to get out of the time of my life with Solitude. And the sun's come out of everything. 4 2 to Clifton Bell. Arms are surely dead and buried now. To the massive deflection. 4 2. I only didn't take a second back, and it was a thunderous strike. And it was bloody hell. That's a stunning goal. You could hear the power in it. Well, we're free. Oh, beautiful. Go on. Oh, yes. Yeah. Gone seven goals, a set 14 goals, two games. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, it's gone now. Gives them a look quite comfortable right now. Don't really seem like they want to push for more, but I think they should. I think, in my personal opinion, it's important to get a lot of goals at the, at the very first mark, anyway. But you look at a couple of years ago, league titles were won on goal difference. You look at my Sunderland career mode, league title was won on goal difference. So you just have to kind of look at that. There's a three goal difference now. But if they keep playing the way they're playing this game, it could be six or seven. I'm hoping it will be. I thought um, Long was quite unlucky with some of the goals he conceded. It was just the defence lost concentration. One of them was a hoof ball. And the other one was a bit of a defensive mix up that just allowed ours to get through for the, for the goal. And otherwise, commanded his penalty area well. And any other time he's needed to get the ball clear, he's cleared it. Great football, really enjoyed myself. That, that atmosphere has actually grown steadily since clipped a bit and more and more on top. But it's not a real part of the League of Ireland. I haven't been at a game yet where it's matched the League of Ireland atmosphere. But I'm hoping to go to a Belfast Derby later on in the season and hopefully the atmosphere will match up to it. Ours up to attack now. On the left hand side. Oh, lovely bit of skill. Oh! Oh! How did he miss? It's six! Six two now! Clinton is rolling past ours! Yeah, I know, yeah! Six two! Cliftonville! 64, five minutes gone! Still plenty of time left! Oh my god, what a time! Eight goals in one game. This is the most I've had. No, yes it is. Oh my God! It's the most I've had in one game. It's starting moment for the vlogs. Most goals I've had in one game. It's six two. Don Lee scores again. Six five minutes gone. Clinton will lead six two. Silence, Rad Solitude. Orange have another goal of six three. I don't want Um, long was a fall for that one, unfortunately. Um, left to kind of no man's land. He did. not you know, a quick enough, he didn't, he decided enough decision to come out for the ball or, you know, get one of his defenders to come back and help them. Ours slip in and score at 6-3, one of the loudest roars of the game, I must admit. As in, they haven't sang or done anything other than they celebrate the goal, which is pretty poor from a fan's point of view. But they have been quite loud when they score. 6-3, <laughs> I don't think there's any hope for them, to be honest. They need three goals in 14 minutes. Well, you never know, nine goals now, 6-3. Shift to look to break from an ours. Throw a free kick even. Oh, lovely, so lovely pass to the ball. Same again. Give it, give it, give it. Lovely. Squad. Finish. Oh, my God. Oh, so, so close. I know, yeah. Oh, so close to making it seven. 
Pestaville nearly score again, some more good football. Ball just goes inches wide of the post. Oh, this, in this bacon heat in Belfast. Cliftonville nearly grab a seven. With five seconds of normal time left, it's 6 3. But, did you not do we picks in the background for him? Oh! Shoot! Come on, King! Oh, Hit it! Hit it. Hit it. Yes! Oh, I was in! Come on, Tango! Give it, give it. You're on, Chris. Come on, Mark. Come on, Scum. Easy, Mark. All right. Oh, yeah. lovely. Uh, Come uh, on. On your own, Scum. Oh, fine. Day at all, shoot. Nine goals. Yeah, you didn't hear me wrong. Nine goals. There's the Christianville team warming up out behind me, actually. Look at them. So I have actually had a fantastic day in Belfast. I met some lovely football fans, lovely, great Christianville people. I wasn't sure what to think when I was coming here. I wasn't sure what the football would be like after I saw Colin and ours. It wasn't the best game. The football here was on show day was actually great. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was the best football games I've seen in quite a long time. That's, well, that's probably because I haven't seen any professionals play in about two or three months. <laughs> but, um, it, I, I really didn't expect much from the game after what I saw. But today, nine goals. What a thrilling day at Solitude. Uh, one downside I'd have on it was the atmosphere. It lacks a lot of atmosphere down, uh, up here in the north of Ireland, in Northern Ireland, in the Northern Irish League. Uh, yeah, that's the, probably the one thing I would change about the atmosphere. I was expecting a loud, raucous atmosphere, but I'm told the derby's here. I meant to have good atmosphere as always. Of course, why, I'd be terrible if your derby days didn't have atmosphere. Um, that's the experience, um, people-wise and football-wise. It's one of the, oh, the, the, you definitely come here. If you're looking for atmosphere, maybe, oh, maybe, you probably wouldn't come here. But if you're just looking to come to a match, enjoy your day out, this is the place to go. Guys, this is Ginger Mourinho TV, signing off from Solitude. I'll see you next time.